introducing the Wizard Hat Hardware Set. This set consists of three parts, and together they can bolt any base plate of any foil on the market to any board with a track on the market. Flathead M8, Flathead M6, Panhead M8, Panhead M6, and any length, uh, track, or, or thickness base plate. We all have the same issue out there. You show up to the beach, you forget some hardware, maybe you have the wrong hardware for the foil you're riding that day, maybe you're missing just one of them. It's hard to keep all the different hardware straight for all the boards and foils you may have. With the Wizard Hat, there is just one set of hardware that will fit all of the foils in your quiver. Before I go into all of the advantages, I'm just going to show you a simple install. The top of the a uh, hardware set has a cone nut, which I'm unscrewing here. The cone nut has two sides. The top of the one I'm unscrewing is flat, and then the bottom has a cone shape. You'd use cone shape down for a normal flat head bolt, which has a cone shape bottom. So as you can see, all those need to be up, slide your base plate in, and then you tighten them down. Now this cone shape is the same uh, for an M6 or an M8 bolt. So these M6 bolts that are on the Wizard Hat hardware can be used for either. Now we're demonstrating this on a foil mount that's just set on top of a board just to show you how it works. So there's a lot of extra um, threads sticking out the top. That will not be the case in a normal board track. My favorite part about the Wizard Hat hardware is it uses a wrench head instead of a Torx, Allen, or Phillips drive. This means you can use a big 15 millimeter ratchet wrench to tighten and loosen your bolts on the foil. Just be careful not to over tighten. You get a lot more leverage with a wrench than you do with a screwdriver or Allen key. And then obviously the reverse procedure to take it off. So what's in the kit? In the Wizard Hat kit, you get a wrench, a ratchet wrench. You get four sets of uh, T-nuts which include the um, T-bolt, which I'm taking out here, and the cone nut. The T-bolt is removable from the T-slider. You can see that's how they articulate. This means in the future, if you want a shorter or longer T-bolt, you can just change it out. All the little rubber uh, O-ring does is keep the uh, T-bolt in place on the T-slider, so it's easier to install. comes with four cone nuts. The cone nuts are reversible, as we already talked about. It also comes with a sweet decal. So the Wizard Hat hardware has been thoroughly tested. We actually put these uh, setups up against normal uh, industry standard brass T-nuts as well as our high strength stainless T-nuts. And they outperformed both in all the tests we did. So very strong. The strength comes from the fact that there's no threads in the actual T-slider. They're up top. It makes it very strong. Oh, I bet you guys want to see some more installs on different base plates, which is exactly what we're going to do. This is the Nobile base plate. It uses a uh, pan head M6 bolt. So you can see, you just flip over that cone nut, it goes into the flat end, and it works perfectly for the Nobile base plate. Next is the Moses. The Moses uses an M8 um, pan head bolt. So you keep the, the cone nuts over so the flat end is down. Tighten them down, no problem that the M6 bolts are smaller than the holes. They'll line right up and work just fine. You can see the Moses is a lot thicker base plate. No problem, plenty of room with the Wizard Hat hardware. We're gonna take that off and move to the next, which is a Cabrina base plate. Now the Cabrina base plate is an exciting one because it has a threaded base plate. It's an M8 threaded base plate. Because we're using M6 bolts in the Wizard Hat hardware, they actually fit inside of those threads. You don't have to drill through your M8 threaded uh, Cabrina base plate to use it on a normal tracked hydrofoil board. Amazing. So we're on to the Takuma base plate or Nash base plate. They use a very similar setup. It's an M6 that uses a flathead bolt where the cones are down. You can actually install these either way with the cones down or cones up and a flat mounting. Next, we're gonna do a slingshot base plate mounted to a regular track system on a slingshot board. This is gonna be cones down for the countersunk base plate. You can see it's easy to line up the base plate onto the wizard hat bolts and then tighten them down by hand using the ratchet wrench, 
for the final tightening. As we said earlier, watch for over tightening. It's a lot easier with the ratchet wrench. You're probably used to tightening and disassembling with a screwdriver, which doesn't have nearly the leverage of this wrench. Next is the Liquid Force or Cloud9 base plate, which uses an M8 countersunk slot to attach to the track. The Wizard Hat hardware will be countersunk side down and fits perfectly on this setup. So I'm going to use this base plate to demonstrate the coolest part of the Wizard Hat hardware. The way that bolt interfaces with the uh, slider nut on the bottom is it can articulate back and forth at an angle. This means we can use shims between the base plate and the bottom of the board. Luckily, Foil Mount, us, makes a stackable one degree shim system that needs to be used with only the Wizard Hat hardware. Because the Wizard Hat hardware will articulate um, a few degrees each, each way, when you install the base plate on top of these shims, the T-nut in the bottom will still maintain full contact with the top of the board's track. We're going to install each one of these nuts, and then uh, you'll see one side is longer than the other, just because that is at an angle. Um, and that uh, full contact is maintained inside of the track. Super important, that's how you break tracks, is having the T-nuts at an angle. Look at that beautiful install. That is a two degree angle. We use two uh, one degree shim sets stacked and uh, we have our two degrees. Perfect. <laughs>